Dear students, it's such an honor to deliver this commencement speech today. I'm grateful for the opportunity and I want to thank Director Francisi and all the PICS team for this chance to talk to you all. Let's start on a positive note. Take a moment with your parents and friends if you're watching this video together to congratulate yourself. If you're alone, it might sound a bit ridiculous to upload in front of your laptop, but do it. Everything is bizarre these days, so no worries. Congratulations, you should be proud of yourself, not only because you've achieved success in a high-level program, studying hours and hours, sacrificing maybe sometimes some parties to finish assignments. You, international students graduating class of 2020, are today in the best positions to face the challenges of the new world we're living in. Our world shifted overnight. Who could have known that going to the supermarket will be the most dangerous adventure of our new lives? Even the best Netflix writers wouldn't have imagined such a situation, right? Maybe some of you are facing very difficult situations right now. Actually, a lot of people are facing very difficult situations worldwide. We're all connected on this planet. The poor and the rich, the US and the rest of the world. In many countries, the dilemma for people is starving or getting the disease. As future leader, you will have to understand this international context and to acknowledge the needs of your community. Take a deep breath. Thanks to your efforts and what you've learned through these years, you have the toolbox, the background, the critical mindset and the empathy you will need to build the future. When we think about it, the planet can live without us. The opposite is not true. We cannot live on this planet if we inflict harm on it. We can't close our eyes to that. This denial has to stop with your generation. Empathy, acknowledging a connected and global world, being a problem solver, keep these values and be consistent between what you think, what you say, how you act both in professional and personal life. I think I've been consistent with myself. I've done my best to build a better world. And this is how I ended up here in a very prestigious program at the University of Michigan, giving a speech in front of the next world leaders. Well, we were supposed to be in the sumptuous Michigan theater, but I care if you're part of PIX, I believe that you care too. When I was your age, I set up an organization to fight racism in my country, friends. I wanted to raise awareness to the fact that most non-white people were preventing from entering discotheques because of discriminations. We filled complaints, we contacted journalists. People were shocked to learn that other people were discriminated in France, the country of human rights, because of the color of their skin. This is how I understood the power of the media. You know, there's only one freedom which can help us make sure that all our freedoms are respected. And this freedom is freedom of the press. Journalists are not the enemy of the people. They are the champions, the champions of the people. Journalists bring you the facts, taking risks themselves. They make sure that governments do what they promise you. And a lot of journalists are facing repression in their country only because they want to inform the people on the virus. So support the freedom of the press, the freedom of speech. This is your first amendment. As global leaders, you will have to keep these values to make informed decisions. Take this pandemic as the opportunity to build the world you want to live in. Try to find out how you can improve the situation. Now, big changes start with small things. I know that your priority is to get a job, in particular in this current context, right? I felt the same when I was your age and I feel that way now. Spoiler alert, you will have to work hard. I have a modest background, uh, coming from a village in the French Alps, but I graduated from the best journalism school in France. I've been a radio columnist, a TV journalist, an editor-in-chief, an international media consultant training over 900 journalists worldwide. I was the head of the technology department of an international non-profit organization, Reporters Without Borders, and I'm now a Knight Wallace Fellow at the University of Michigan. 
basically the best fellowship or nurse for journalists. So work hard, never give up. To wrap up this speech, I want to give you one bit of advice that will help you to get a wonderful life, trust me. Don't try to avoid waves. Learn how to surf. I know it might sound like an inspiring Instagram post, but it's so true. You will face problems, whatever it is, breaking up with a partner, being challenged at work, losing your job. Don't forget that the heart of life is always finding a good balance between struggling and letting go. We have a mantra in journalism. If you can't enter through the door, try the window in a figured way, of course. Always try another way and another way and another way. Work hard. And if you don't find what you're looking for, keep going, keep trying, keep the face. And if it doesn't work, then next, you will have a lot of other opportunities in life. Don't try to avoid waves, learn how to surf. Thank you for listening to me. Don't forget, stick to your values, stay home, stay safe, and go blue.